Skechers Go Run Ride 8 Hyper. It's the latest generation in the Skechers Go Run Ride series of lightweight, neutral, well-cushioned running shoes. The shoe comes with a breathable engineered two-tone knit upper which stretches to move with your foot. There's a Goodyear rubber outsole for durability, stability, traction and a smooth transition. The midsole is the highly responsive, ultra lightweight, long lasting Hyperburst. Hyperburst is a new midsole foam created using a super critical process. The process creates an extremely lightweight and resilient material for long wearing, durability and responsiveness. The shoe weighs in 8.7 ounces in a men's size 9 and it has a 6mm drop. The shoe fits true to size and I paid £109 here in the UK. What's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go up to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description, there's loads of cool things down there. Right, Sketches Go Run Ride 8, let's get stuck in. So guys, here it is, the Go Run Ride 8 and I have been waiting to get my hands on these and the reason that is because this shoe, 8.7 ounces, oh, what a beautiful thing. Um, the reason I'm so excited about the weight is because uh, in marathon training blocks and things like that, I love a lightweight shoe uh, for recovery runs uh, and the sort of running on tired legs, but something that's got a bit of cushioning in it because when you get tired and when you get into the middle of that training block and it, sometimes it just feels a little bit of a slog out there and, and you're struggling, to put a nice light shoe on, it can give you a bit of a spring and it can give you a bit of a help. So to be able to get a, a, a shoe that's 8.7 ounces for me is like, as I said, it's like a miracle. Um, just briefly uh, on the upper, it, I mean, it's this normal sort of knit upper that you're getting on a lot of the shoes now. I know they've made some changes, but it is what it is. It's breathable, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's super comfortable. And like, as I said, the weight, great. Uh, it's more of a traditional shoe in the respect that it's not like a all-in-one boot uh, upper that we've been having on a lot of shoes recently. The tongue, for example, is very traditional. Um, the heel area is comfortable. It's not massively mega padded like the Saucony or even the Asics. Uh, it's just the right amount. I'm really digging the um, uh, tag on the back, which is reflective as well. And as I say, these are for commute runs for me, so this is great. Uh, and that's why I picked the color that I did. So the reflective elements, thanks very much um but the super cool thing about this apart from the weight is the midsole the hyperburst midsole is great it's responsive it does exactly what you want uh when you're out there just trying to eat up miles at not some super duper pace but you're just as i say trying to do those commute runs trying to you know just bag a 5k here or something like that this is where this shoe comes in its element the outsole is great you've got the good gear you know from the guys the rubber guys who make the tires um and you know you've got the hyperburst uh, exposed there but you know there's enough traction on there i ran these in the wet and i ran these in the drive didn't have any problems with the outsole so as i said for me running down the roads on the way home or the paths on the way home this is great i wouldn't run these down the towpaths on my long runs because i just think they'll get eaten alive but commute runs shorter runs recovery runs these guys are an absolute hit and that is where i think if you're looking for a uh, shoe to add into your marathon training um definitely look at the sketches um as i said uh, earlier that for whatever reason we don't seem to get these very quickly over here in the uk but sketches are a really popular shoe out in the us and i can see why this is such a a sort of it's like a nike pegasus it's just it's just a shoe you know you can stick on and it's just going to eat up miles and there's nothing fancy about it but it does exactly what you want out of a decent running shoe and that is why the Go Run Ride 8 is awesome. Oh. 